In uh, today's video, we have another self-repair gone wrong. Um, in this one, so the original owner of the vehicle uh, attempted to fix it, um, pulled some pads, so then they sent it off to a uh, speedometer repair shop who said that uh, they could fix it um, for an additional fee. Uh, and then they got their hands on it and they said, nope, and sent it right back. So uh, I'm guessing this is probably going to be a bad one since the first shop didn't want to touch it. Very well could have every pad pulled on it, which I've seen before and does happen. Uh, it can be a little daunting having to fix every single pad, but it's not so bad once, you, once you've done it a few times. So I'm not even going to power this one up to start off with because I don't know what's going on inside here. So let's see how bad the damages are. Uh, just got some big solder globs kind of hiding the pads. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just suck up all these solder blobs and see what's what's going on under there. So it looks like, I don't know if we can get that on camera well or not, uh, but pretty much, yeah, every single pad is, well, there's two pads left, but they're just kind of dangling. But besides that, every single pad has been damaged on here. And where the pads were is awfully dark, like there was just excessive, what are you eating, cat? Just excessive uh, heat use. Um I'm going to put this up onto the microscope and we'll just have to take it one by one here and and uh, see if we can get some jumpers run.
So now I have all the pads repaired, except for the speedometer. I'm saving the fun one for the end. Um, there's a, take a look at the jumpers there to, uh, to replace the ripped off pads. Um, now uh, with the speedometer, it's not quite as simple because there isn't test points right next to, uh, right next to where the pad used to be. So with the speedometer, I'll just have to, uh, trace out uh, the traces just a little bit further to get to the test points and I believe on this last one here I'll actually just have to scrape away at the uh, the uh, solder mask to, to get down to the copper because there is no test point on one of these. Next I'm just going to do a quick sweep test to make sure all the stepper motors are working. Alright, looks good. 
I'm having to use a little bit of glue on the uh, guide pins here. I'm not putting glue on the solder joints, just the uh, the pins that come through the board. And uh, normally you wouldn't have to do this, but since there's no pads left, and the pads are what hold the stepper motor tight to the board, uh, they're gone. So if these motors get moved at all, whether it's while I'm putting the needles back on or just under normal vibration and heating and cooling cycles, it could break the jumpers that I've added. So I'm just making sure that the, the motors are locked in place now. At this point, I'm just going to go through with the normal rebuild. Uh, we know all the stepper motors are back up and running, but it's got all the typical problems of burned out bulbs and just the normal stuff. So uh, that would be next. So here's a quick rundown. Uh, the owner of this vehicle tried to replace the stepper motors themselves. Uh, ended up pulling all the pads. Probably had little to no experience with, with soldering, I suppose. Uh, it's pretty pretty fragile pad, so uh, common thing. They sent it off to a place uh, in Wisconsin, a speedometer repair shop. They took a look at it and said, uh, nope, too much damage. Uh, I didn't want to do it. They sent it back, and then uh, he sent it over to me, and we just went ahead and replaced all those pads with jumpers and uh, did the standard rebuild stuff of bulbs and uh, fractured solder joints and whatnot. But, yeah, I uh, was able to save it. It's all the way back to 100% working order again. And if you've been following YouTube at all, uh, they made some policy changes again that are affecting the smaller channels, the less than a thousand subscriber channels. And and that's me. I'm sitting at about 950. So if I don't get 50 more subscribers by uh, the middle of February, I will be losing my monetization, which is kind of a bummer. So if you know anybody that can use the information that I have, uh, have them subscribe so I can get to that thousand mark i'm really close to hitting that thousand subscriber mark uh that'd be great if i keep my monetization and uh well that's it for this video thanks for watching